two questions uh, that are very important in terms of getting to know is uh, what is chemical engineering and uh, what do chemical engineers do? So through various lectures and other activities in this course, we will attempt to give answers to these questions. This is course on uh, introduction to chemical engineering being organized by the Department of Chemical Engineering at Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. My name is Abhijit Deshpande. I'm a faculty member at the Department of Chemical Engineering. And with me, several of my colleagues have put together this course, which will answer these questions for you. If you remember when we start the day early in the morning, you know, we have the toothpaste in a tube and we slowly take it out and then it stays when it comes out on the brush and it doesn't really fall off. And, and so the question with this activity that can arise in our mind are, uh, you know, what is there in this toothpaste? How are the molecules interacting with each other? How are the chemicals being added so that it comes out very smoothly, but it stays on the brush? And how is it made at large scales? We are using tons and tons of the toothpaste uh, in our everyday lives. And then how is it packaged so that it reaches us? So all of these questions, chemical engineers have very important role to play. And uh, not just toothpaste, I mean, there are various examples, you know, drugs such as paracetamol, uh, you know, we use battery uh, and battery materials. Uh, there is catalyst which is used to enhance the rate of reactions. Then we have uh, bioplastics and biodiesel being attempted so that we can become more circular and sustainable in our overall uh, uh, use of energy and materials. Uh, so there are various examples of products, processes and molecules uh, which are being used and each of these impacts our day-to-day -day life. Uh, refinery gives us petrol uh, which uh, drives uh, our transportation needs. Then uh, of course there are very fine chemicals which are used in much smaller quantities but they are very crucial in terms of let's say as a drug molecules, as perfumes or any other functional molecules. So we have uh, examples which are very traditional products such as fertilizers which have been around and then we have semiconductor processing which have become important in recent decades. So we will through all these examples uh, try to talk about uh, introduction to chemical engineering. And uh, just to close again with an example of a rocket propellant uh, which is used to send satellites. And again, the question is what chemicals are there? What are molecules which, you know, uh, make up this uh, solid propellant? How is this made? And how is it packaged? In this case, how is it made into a rocket motor? And we will do this uh, through four modules where initially we will discuss some key concepts, then go on to examples which are in our surrounding then look at some of the greater achievements and challenges that chemical engineers and chemical engineering faces and end up with some of the, you know, advancements that are there. So hope to see you in this course on introduction to chemical engineering, uh, in which we will learn all these facets of chemical engineering. Please enroll and see you in the course.